Okay, and it's Renew back again. Uh, we're going to match versus B. Ashler 8. Let's say uh, 2 minute and 1 second increment match. Uh, and uh, my opponent has uh, chosen an opening that allows me to uh, get quite a bit of space in the centre, which uh, I'm very happy to take playing white. It's a bit of an early queen move out, perhaps. But he's not going to keep a uh, bishop. And, uh, well, he does uh, protect the rook. It's still looking a fairly good position for me. I think. Uh, so if I bring out the bishop and I expect I will castle soon, then I can uh, look at uh, mounting an attack. Uh, he doesn't seem inclined to castle, so I'll get uh, my rook on the line. Uh, that prompted him to get out of the way. If I push up here, then I can uh, open the pile for my rook. Um, it is at the expense uh, of getting an isolated queen's ball. Seems like it uh, took me a bit to decide whether I was going to take the queen or the rook. Um, I'm not entirely sure why I went with the queen in the end. Ah, uh, oh, yes I am. It's because I was going to uh, attack on c6 and this is the end of it. So. Now I've got a reasonably nice position. I think I'm looking to advance that uh, d4. Knight 5. It's another candidate. I'm going to have to watch out here for my back rank. There are potential dangers here. So that's an interesting move. I don't know if it was a mouse slip or if I have some particular idea about that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure where I was going there. It looks like uh, I've gone away with it and I'm going to get to open up his uh, king too. This is pretty much forces a queen trade and threatening uh, checkmate otherwise. I think I'm looking in a what superior position here? I should be able to get uh, my rook for the seventh. My king's a bit more central for now. So pick up a pawn here. Another one potentially he can't move on forward or he's in check. Oh, he does move on forward and he helps get check. So, another pawn, and that's kind of uh, pretty much collapsed things from this point. Those uh, three pawns on the queen side should be enough for me to uh, see this game through, I would hope. Uh, I'm not that short on time. Quite happily look to exchange the rooks because uh, I'll just get the queen. Uh, it doesn't really matter if I give up that pawn, so I'm uh, much closer to the end than he is. Uh, should better get. Uh, 
that it gets a queen with check if you're not careful here. It's going to check me around a bit, but it won't do much in the long term. I can just run away behind the rook. And he's out of checks. So this is where I should be getting a queen in check. Uh, presumably I didn't notice it was check at the time, so uh, don't get to keep my queen, but I've still got a uh, totally winning position, provided I manage to avoid my standard trick of stalemating. I might go for the lazy option and just sack the rook, because I can always get uh, another queen or two. I don't really need to do that. Now I can just uh, pre move my way to a queen and then it's an easy checkmate provided I don't uh, completely make a wall of things and stalemate. Yeah. He's done here. And is he going to waste out my time? No, he's going to resign. Anyway, see you next time.